good noon class 11 class 11 we carry carry on today with bills of exchange we were discussing bills of exchange we discussed the bills of exchange and i reviewed the entire lecture day before yesterday's lecture with you yesterday we discussed that bill of exchange is a is an agreement a written agreement between the two parties the drawer and the drawee drawer who is the seller and drawee who is the purchaser of the goods now for the written agreement the transactions for the sale of uh, the sale agreement for the goods that are sold on credit are also done in uh, writing so the transactions we proceeded with the transactions and we reached yesterday we discussed and uh, we reviewed all the transactions before the dishonor of the bill yesterday now let us proceed with dishonor do you remember what is dishonor dishonored children is the circumstance is the case when the drawee does not regard does not honor the bill that is produced that is extended to him that is presented to him by the drawer of the goods for making the payment he disregards that bill he dishonors that bill so because uh, it is a written agreement the transaction the accounting entry has already been made when the uh, date has been decided the due date has been decided the entry has been made now if the bill is not regarded if the bill is not honored and uh, on that date decided the only thing is the entry we now we know the rule of accounting is we cannot overwrite neither can we strike off nor we can omit anything nor we can overwrite those are considered to be fraudulent or forged practices so we do not do that an accountant will not neither accept that nor he will do that so what do we do we have to pass a reversal entry now we'll proceed with the case here these are the entries for dishonor now you just have to remember reversal means remember girls when the bill of exchange is accepted if you remember the entry when the bill of exchange is accepted the entry at that time is bill receivable to y assuming that x is the drawer and y is the drawee when the bill is accepted by y the bill drawn by x is accepted by y the entry in the books of x will be br to y and here it will be bills payable to x but when this bill is getting reversed this bill is getting uh, dishonored dishonor means we just have to reverse the case we just have to credit ko debit bana denge and debit ko credit bill receivable to y tha ab ho jayega y to bill receivable and what is this cash cash is the noting charge i told you noting charge is the fee that the drawer is paying to the notary public for getting the bill written uh, getting it noted down in the court by this is a court formality so it is called cash and it is entered as cash credited as cash in the drawers books and entered as noting charges in the drawers book why because the same amount the entry the amount for both these uh, uh, items are the same they regard the same amount but why is it called cash here and noting charges here because the we cannot debit the same thing at two places noting charge to iske liye hai because he is paying the penalty to the court to iske liye what is the name of the penalty name of the penalty is noting charge iske liye he has paid the noting charge par baad mein isse le lega this will be recovered from y that is why it is called cash here in the books of x very simply again now just remember ek cheez hamesha yaad rakho whenever the bill is getting dishonored तो y तो क्रेडिट होगा दैट मीन्स ड्रॉ तो डेबिट होगा ही होगा वेन द बिल इज रिटर्न y क्रेडिट होता है हमेशा वेन द बिल इज गेटिंग डिसऑनर्ड y तो डेबिट होगा ही होगा एंड क्रेडिट कौन होगा वी विल क्रेडिट जिसके पास बिल है वो क्रेडिट हो जाएगा इन केस इट इज रिटेन्ड बाय द ड्रॉर तो br कर देंगे इन केस इट इज डिस्काउंटेड विद द बैंक 
तो बैंक को क्रेडिट कर देंगे इन केस इट इज एंडोर्स टू जेड तो जेड को कर देंगे सो वेर एवर हु एवर हैज द बिल विल बी क्रेडिटेड हियर हु एवर इज द बेर ऑफ द बिल विल बी क्रेडिटेड हियर सो इन द बुक्स ऑफ इन केस इन द बुक्स ऑफ इट इज एंडोर्स टू जेड नाउ इन द बुक्स ऑफ जेड किसकी एंट्री हो जाएगी एक्स टू बी आर टू कैश This is in the books of X and DOS. और Y की books में क्या होगा Y की book में तो A की entry होनी है A की रहेगी Bills payable, noting charges to X. Either he retains the, this person retains the bill. इसने तो तब भी पेमेंट देनी है इसकी एंट्री विल रिमेन द सेम इफ दिस पर्सन हैज डिस्काउंटेड द बिल फ्रॉम द बैंक इसको क्या फर्क पड़ रहा है ही इज अनफेक्टेड इसकी एंट्री सेम रहेगी बिल्स पेएबल नोटिंग चार्जेस टू X bill इसने X has endorsed the bill to Z इसको क्या फर्क पड़ रहा है कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ रहा इसकी बुक्स में फिर भी वही एंट्री रहेगी बिल्स पेएबल नोटिंग चार्जेस टू X for him the bill has got dishonored so the entry for payment or sorry entry for dishonor in the books of drawee remains the same wherever the bill is retained at that time wherever the bill is at that time the entry will remain the same clear now let us proceed with the same i once again repeat the transactions you just repeat with me see dishonor dishonor me y will be debit who is y drawee drawee has to be debited in every case whatever the case is y ko hi debit karna hai kyun क्योंकि Y इज द रीजन फॉर डिसऑनर बिकॉज ऑफ वाई द बिल हैज बिन डिसऑनर्ड सो Y को डेबिट करना है क्रेडिट किसको करना है वी विल क्रेडिट हु एवर इज रिटेन हैज द बिल इन केस इट इज विद द ड्रॉर तो बी आर कर दो X की बुक में X तो कर ही नहीं सकते ना सो इन केस इट इज विद X ओनली तो बी आर इन केस इट इज डिस्काउंटेड फ्रॉम द बैंक तो बैंक इन केस इट इज एंडोस्ड फ्रॉम एंडोस टू जेड तो जेड so whoever is uh, in the whoever is uh, has the bill will be credited entries in the books of y will remains the same bills payable noting charges to x wherever the bill is or entry in the books of z z ki entry he has given the bill to z this person said i did not have place here so i have written it here z either y to z hai either x to br ho jayega and it see here This also was cash. Here also noting charges will be called cash. Clear, children. Uh, rather than learning the entries, it is always better to understand the entry. So even if you forget the entry, you know how the entry has to be passed, and why is the entry being passed? Why are we debiting the debited account, and why are we crediting the credit account? You understand this, you will be able to pass the entries yourself. You don't have to remember in the entry or na hi dar raega entry bhulne ka. Understand? Okay, that is why I am repeating so many times. Chalo, now we'll do one illustration, very simple coinciding illustration, so that you understand this uh, transaction. The treatment is embedded properly in your mind. So please open to illustration fifteen of the textbook. I'll open mine. Here. Yeah. illustration 15 so i'll just take it down here so that you understand properly now first we'll read the question then we'll go then we'll go side by side 15th illustration say says x sells goods for 40000 to b sorry x ne a a sell goods to b for rupees 40000 on 1st jan 17 No, don't start uh, panicking with the entries. Let us read the question first. What does the question demand? And on the same day, A draws a bill on B at three months. Bill is drawn for three months for the amount. B accepts it and returns it to A. Done. Who discounts? Now A discounts it. On fourth January, on fourth January seventeen, A is discounting the bill from the bank with his bank at six percent per annum. So the bill for forty thousand is discounted 
for 6%. He is doing it, who disc it, it returns it on the same day, on 4th January only. 4th January. He discounts it with the bank on 4th January for 6%. So, 40,000 into 6 by 100 for 3 months. The acceptance is dishonored. So, discount ho gaya. Now, the bill discount ka matlab, bill A has given the bill to the bank and received the payment for that. Now, on the due date, whenever is the due date, 4th of, uh, the goods are sold on 1st of Jan, 1st Jan to 1st Feb, 1st Feb to 1st March, 1st March to 1st April, 3 months ka bill ho gaya. 2nd, 3rd, 4th April. So, 4th April will be the due date. What happens on the due date? Acceptance is dishonored. So, acceptance is dishonored. That means B does not pay the amount. But bill is with Bill is with the bank. Remember now, entry. On the due date, and the noting charges were paid by the bank, rupees 200. Bank pays the noting charges, rupees 200. On 4th April, uh, 2017 B accepts a new bill okay new bill is written at three months for the amount then due to A that means inclusive of then due ka matlab inclusive of the noting charges the new bill is written inclusive of this noting charges which is written for next three months together with interest at 12% so interest is not paid in cash new bill this is renewal of the bill so, renewal of the bill always has interest factor. And interest can be paid in cash. So, cash to interest to jayega. Agar interest is not paid in cash, to B to interest to jayega. Okay. Now, let us take the questions uh, one by one. Entries one by one. Now, you remember the question. So now here, case by case, the first entry on 1st of Jan, the first entry is on 1st of Jan. So A sells goods to B. This is A selling goods to B. Either ho gaya B to sales or here ho gaya bank purchases to A. Done. Then again 1st of Jan, a bill is accepted. Acceptance is received in the books of A, BR to B. In the books of B, A, a to bills payable. Okay. Now the bill A gets the bill discounted with the bank. Discounted with the bank means entry only in the books of A. There is no entry in the books of B at this time. Bank account, discounting charges to BR. Or discounting charges, how many are the, how much are the discount, discounting charges? 40,000, that is the amount of the bill, into 6%, the rate decided for 3 months, into 3 by 12. That comes to 600. So, the bill amount 40,000 minus 600, the amount A receives from bank is 39,400 only and no entry at this time in the books of B. On 4th of April, the date given there, on the date, this is on the date of the bill. From, I told you, from 1st Jan to 1st Feb, 1st Feb to 1st March, 1st March to 1st April. 2nd, 3rd, 4th April. This is the due date, 4th of April. So, on 4th of April, the B, uh, the bill is dishonored. B to bank. Bill is by B to bank because bill is with the bank at this time. B to bank. And in this book, bills payable, noting charges to A. This will remain the same. Next, 4th of April. He also pays the interest. Interest will be at the rate of 12% for the duration of the bill, extended bill. B to interest, the bill is renewed for 3 months, 40,000 inclusive of the noting charges here. So, inclusive of the noting charges, 200, 40,200 into 12% into 3 by 100, it comes to 1206. 1206 is the bill interest to A here. Then BR to B for rupees 41,000. 41,406 is this 40,200 ka bill plus this amount of interest 1206. So it comes 41,406. This plus this. 
is the new bill and the new bill is accepted and it is paid on the due date clear girls okay now after this you will do the simultaneous question you please take out question number 15 and start doing question number 15 then i will start with the next case with you okay i am starting the next case with you after now i see your questions you start doing question number 15 one by one i'll just tell you which girls have to show me the question okay start doing question number 15 